jiu-jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the jiu-jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level, from the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so unbelievable. truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Three years apart, with similar height and the same reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Ladies Buffett. and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, flying out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of four wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of East London, England, Bulldog. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of eight wins, four losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Mickey Gall! You ready? ready to go for round one. Now, as many of you know, he lost his last fight by decision, so a lot of people fancied this young man a future title contender. So how does he respond to that type of adversity? If you talk to his corner men, they believe he will respond with flying colors. They believe he has a lot of advantages here tonight, and he can get back on the horse, back into the win column, and ideally vault his way back into contention if he can finish this opponent here tonight. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the field. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy. Whoa! Oh, he hurt bad. He bad job. He's got a pressure. He's got to chase that finish down now. Oh, and that one snapped the head back. The referee has seen it. Mercifully, by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 12 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bulldog. Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? It's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.